Alrighty, we need to go get Flammy. My headphones go in here. In here. Um, we're not really missing anything except for slight bits of MP, so I won't waste. I guess, don't we have freebies? Oh no, not quite yet. Not quite free. So we are headed to Celestial Peak. I think we can take a boat straight there. Why would we do that though? Is this dialogue different? I think this is exactly the same. The bridge and stone split gap is gone. Who could have destroyed something so massive? That kind of happened ages ago, so I don't think that's new. I remember the original having some evolving dialogue. But I don't remember feeling the need to go back and like talk to everybody after the fact. It's so nice when they let us cut the corners like that. Don't have to run all the way around just to get to the beach. All right. Got to go to the mountain. Celestial Peak. I like how the command for uh, X is get down on the right side there. We can accelerate or get down. I guess the implication is then that we're riding just on his back, which I kind of figured. Heaven's way. Time to get down. Oh yeah, we need class items. Fuck, I totally forgot. We can't evolve our class yet then. Did we get a class item at any point? Why am I looking in there? Limited number, oh. I didn't even realize we uh, had this. These serums. We got those and I didn't really pay much attention to what they what they do. I like that it does tell me there's a, a limited stock of those. Hmm. No class items yet. I was getting too ahead of myself. Getting ready to class change. the class items being like later game drops. I'm just going to see if that's the same. They only start appearing once you've unlocked access to the class 3 change option. Oh yeah, we need the mystery seed. It's all coming back. Well, we should definitely just use this, right? Is there a way to just consume it on this menu? Maybe I'm being a fool. But I don't see it. Oh, we actually have spirit serum on our bar. Okay. Don't keep me with definitely is going to go to Angela. Nice. This is also gonna go to Angela. She's gonna be fucking beefed. Very nice. And that will of course go to Duran. I know we can't use it on anybody else, but I just wanna be careful that we don't accidentally use it on the wrong person. Where's this lead? 
Oh, Apollo port. Okay. Got it. Better know about Celestial Peak. I ain't letting the Crimson Wizard stay in the sink. Figured out where we are. I ain't letting the Crimson Wizard stay in the sanctuary. Oh my god, these guys are so weak. They've not been scaled. Five MP. Well, that was pretty good. Of course, this guy's got a fucking barrier. It's amazing how much the barrier actually, uh, how much damage it blocks from spells, especially. Very nice. Kind of blazing through here. It actually did give us a level up, which is amazing. God damn, man. These uh, multi kills are getting us quite a bit of uh, <laughs> MP back. Very nice. Dude, slow walking at us. So, yeah, we have to go up and across. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm wondering if. Uh, I know they added guaranteed treasure boxes that have these mystery seeds in them. At least I had read that, I'm pretty sure, when the game initially came out. But I'm wondering if they'll be dropping pretty frequently enough once we get to the proper level. Who knows, what if they just never show up? Son of a bitch. Come on. Hawkeye's just chilling in the back, not really doing a whole lot. Pop that. Bada bing, bada boom. It's so clean. Of course, that's not going to be the case once we get to... Enemies that aren't like half our level. I'm amazed I didn't scale those guys up because I feel like we're gonna we're gonna find guys over here that are a little bit more appropriately scaled. Just kidding, we're already at the town. Oh, <laughs> I see you are all well. Hmm, you wish to find the winged defender? I understand your predicament. I will unblock the path. However, the Winged Defender is the protector of the Laurent Mountains. It is said that he only appears for us at Search for the Winged Defender. I don't remember there being like an extensive area back here. Maybe I'm mistaken. It's been a hot minute since we played the original. Hopefully we find something that's going to give us adequate experience. Oh yeah, okay. This is like its whole... A whole area of its own. And I think this was in the original as well. I do remember these tight winding paths upward. Come on. Alright, what are we looking at level wise? So oh, weird. Again, it starts us like a little ways away from the entry. Always got to look behind wherever you appear. Make sure you're not missing any uh, little cactus. <clears throat> oh shit. Yeah, so this is just literally the same guy. It's not even colored. Full. That was the last of them. Don't get too comfortable though. Two chocolates. There's no way that they're gonna drop us mystery seeds this early on, right? I feel like we've gotta get past the sanctuary and then they'll probably hand them out. Trying 
try and bust through these guys before they have a chance to spin on us. It's so winding. This map is like fucking crazy too. I can't even interpret it very well which way we're supposed to be going. I want to find the extra areas so we don't move on. Okay, maybe it's a little more linear than I'm thinking. Okay, leave it to me. Make sure we bust this guy's armor up real quick. Yeah, because as long as he uh, gets his tornado on, he's going to be a pretty big threat. Hmm. Well, this is clearly an extra side area. Yeah, these side areas in the original game really didn't have a whole lot going on. Now we got a little bit more. For sure, we're guaranteed to find a treasure chest. Whereas, uh, not really the case in the original. A lot of whole lot, a lot of whole lot of nothing rooms. All right, we're getting there. Thirty-seven. I wonder if that just adds, like hitting thirty-eight, just adds it to a drop pool, maybe, or if we literally need to find later game enemy types. And yeah, we never did f figure out how to. Properly platform to that little cactus. Nice. Free candy. <clears throat> you uh you good there, Hawkeye? Candy is still pretty decent. It's still about a little under half our health for most of our characters. Not amazing by any means, but still still quite usable, which is nice. Really don't like that. Yeah, the move is just so dangerous because our allies are really bad at dodging it. I guess also there's the restriction of uh, if we don't have a lot of space to dodge, it can be really hard. Just in general. What the fuck? Alright. Interesting. Don't know what that was about. <laughs> Come on. Right, overall, we're still doing okay on health. I was thinking about using my little tornado attack. Pass on it for now. I just don't remember if there's a boss at the top of this. The only boss in this area I remember is the, the harpy that we fought a long time ago. So, I'm kind of thinking about saving it, but I don't want to... I don't want it to go to waste. If we're sitting at 300, it's just a total waste. <clears throat> That's okay, we'll... Bust them up just to get through the fight a little faster. I mean, we can do plenty of fights without any CS. Just nice to have it, make it a little bit easier. We fucked up. Definitely a fight, right? No, I don't think there is. Oh, there's a fight. We ride on him and we fight an enemy in the sky. Now I remember. He's very cute. Too close. <laughs> I think you made him mad. Oh, I'm sorry. You're a girl dragon, aren't you? How 
Wait, Flammy's a girl? Or does that happen later? Or we fight the boss? I think that's later. Because it's a benevolent. I wonder how that's going to look. Like, I feel like it worked really well in the Super Nintendo because it was just sprites on top of each other and Flammy's size was a little ambiguous anyway. We'll see what happens though. This is the sanctuary of me. Damn, I thought it was going to be a little more... Uh, Cinematic us going through the portal. Look, these are the soldiers that went into the sanctuary before us. They slaughtered each other. All right, let's go get the sword. Oh my god, there's a planter right here. Nice. Magic pot. We got a ghost eye and a chocolate. What the fuck is a ghost eye? We have so many points, I really just want to switch my class. I probably shouldn't be saving my points like this. But like... I don't have to spend money to... To change it out then. Oh yeah, we've got all this other stuff in these other categories that I didn't really realize. Chance of instantly destroying lower leveled enemies. Yeah, I don't know how I didn't realize we could switch to these other... These are just on hand. These are all other types. All right, we're gonna switch to Hawkeye because I really don't want him to waste Swallow Throw like a fucking fool. And I know he's going to. All right, here we go. That's the lineup we're looking for. Not too interested in trying to use our poison against machine golems. Oh my god, they can be poisoned. What the fuck? They're machines, though. How does that work? Enemies down there. Enemies down this way. Let's see if we can try and burst these guys down so we're not dealing with too many enemies at once. Nice. Easy peasy. As those two struggle together to kill one enemy. Damn, it's not the most graphically impressive, but like just aesthetically, this this is quite lovely. Running across the lily pads to get to that little little item out there. <clears throat> Can't talk to any of the corpses. See, we can pop all these guys. Oh my god. Angela does a lot of damage with her uh, love typhoon, I gotta say. Very clean. We're getting like pretty big bonuses if we uh, kill these enemies quickly. 
like 100 something experience it's not bad early game those little percentages don't seem like much but uh once we get to these bigger xp values definitely pretty significant for the most part nice always nice to ground the flying enemies really quick and ideally get some some burst on them Okay, what the fuck? He's just chilling back in the corner there. He was like stuck right here. A little awkward. Oh, I also didn't need to pause to see my level. It's always on the screen. Alright, not bad. Kind of a little bit of a waste, but whatever. A lot of these fights, we're just trying to crush through them real quick. Ow. Holy shit. We got fucking popped. Okay, we'll, uh... Oh, my lord. We really don't want to have to use a couple of wishes on just a regular encounter. Okay, I think we got it. One. We'll use meter if we have to, but I don't think we do. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Jesus, man. Kind of tempted to just run back to the statue. For the free heal. It's not too far out. First area of enemies is respawn, but I think we can sneak by. We can always run if we need to. You have the improved run. <clears throat> yeah, little, little messy. A lot of AOE is stacked and just fucking murdered my guys. That's fine though, we got it. Everything ended up okay. Really didn't hit both of those, huh? It's a bit disappointing to say the least. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Man, it's really easy to accidentally leave an enemy with just a sliver. Okay. Hold up. These enemies aren't going to respawn anyway, so we might as well just top up, right? Look at that. Perfect. These guys didn't come back. The ones at the bridge definitely came back, right? <laughs> Look at that. Quick and easy, even though Angela took quite a bit of damage, actually. Pop the candy on her. It's fine. I think the play is just focus the, the wizards real quick. Oh my god. See, not bad. A lot of really silly hits, though. Jesus, man. Got a healing jar. Very nice. A new path appeared. Oh, we got a shortcut. Beautiful. Well, what the fuck? If I would have known that, I would have played this out differently, probably. <laughs> Instead of running all the way back. How are these evil ninjas not just fucking crumpling to light magic? I don't even see the weakness thing pop up. Are they just not weak to it for some reason? You'd think evil ninja 
Once you reach 38, you can use a class item at the special mana. Uh, so we have to do it here anyway. Okay. That has been unchanged. Damn, so they just tell you outright in plain English how this works. That's quite nice. Dude, this whirlwind slash is really fucking strong, man. Get out of here. How's that for a finishing blow? So presumably we can start finding uh Finding the seeds now. I wonder if I should kind of kneecap one of our guys a little bit. <clears throat> With these lucky finds. This is 60 HP. I think we're fine without the HP, right? Item drop rate increased. I just really don't want to take the skills off of a uh, Hawkeye. I don't want him to be too useless. He really benefits from that damage buff. Although I could have taken a better look at what else he has equipped. Maybe we could forego something. Oh, we got the bonus. We got the double XP. I noticed it. Really not that obvious when it happens, actually. The fuck? Hello? What is, what is the point of this? Okay. My guess is that's something that will be evident later. Not quite apparent uh, what that's for. This will open up another shortcut and then we can run back and save and heal if we really want to. Okay, leave it to me. This is it. I break you. So. Oh, when they're clumped up like that, so good, man. Very nice. A new path appeared. And we don't even need to need to heal that bad. Would it even be worth it? Mm. Let's just proceed. It wouldn't be worth it because there's statues right here. <laughs> Alright, cool. We get that message when we approach the statue and when we get to 38. 